This is being produced for Bent Rider Online, and there's some conversationalists out there who might who might be uh, entertaining the notion that adhesives won't work on different materials. Anyway, I was given uh, a sample from a company called Sikaflex uh, about 30 years ago and started using the product on log homes in critical wood joint areas. And it can be used with uh, different materials. Uh, prepping, the, prepping the joint is really a key to, to getting any kind of an adhesive to, to bond and, uh, and allowing the adhesive to work. Here's a sample that I was given uh, about 30 years ago from Sikaflex. And it's basically just a couple of pieces of wood. This is a polyurethane caulk adhesive. It's 30 years old. It's uh, it hasn't been in the sun a lot. It has not been painted. It has not been treated. But I think you'll see if I can get it to bend here. Uh, that's uh, that's a pretty good testimonial for not only the adhesion of the caulk to the wood, but also the uh, the, the flex in the material itself. My fingers are almost not strong enough to bend it, but either way, uh, if you've prepped your joint properly, I'll do it one more time here. Here we go. I get uh, that should say a lot for what can happen. Anyway, that's a joint you can see about the size of it. This material is about three eighths of an inch thick, so you've got a three-eighths by a quarter bond there, but you've got enough material in there to allow the material itself, the uh, the polyurethane, to actually do the flexing. But you do have to have a good bond here. No doubt about that. There you go.